Takachali, the oldest and largest community for Floridians with developmental disabilities, spread Christmas cheer early this year. Their 33rd annual Christmas tree lighting ceremony is this Thursday at 6.45 p.m. However, festivities began early this morning for a holiday parade. WUFT's Mary Grace Scully went to the Takachali holiday parade. What was the environment like? Thank you, Mary Grace. Now facing multiple allegations of sexual harassment and mounting pressure from his colleagues on Capitol Hill, Congressman John Conyers today announced that he's retiring immediately. Welcome back. It's Fire Prevention Week and firefighters across the nation are taking action. The dike and flood control system was built around Lake Okeechobee. And this century, officials have been hoping to finish major repairs before there's another disaster. Work is underway to stop seepage, upgrade water controls and canals, and eventually build a southern reservoir. The risk of catastrophic failure is magnified when the water tops 18 feet, and Irma flood water could surge the lake to 17 feet. So this morning, water releases to the southwest began. Authorities tried to hold back on that because of flooding on the coast and because the polluted lake water can trigger algae blooms. Hurricane Irma brought record storm surges to many residents along the St. Johns River in Jacksonville. WUFT's Janae Muchmore rode along with the FEMA team in Duval County to find out what type of federal aid is available for hurricane damage. A new report on pool safety puts a high number on the string of fatal drownings in Florida and other states. Thank you, Sydney, and our news team will bring you another show tomorrow at 5 o'clock. But your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org. Have a good night.